Today in Engineering Newswire, we're heating materials hotter than the sun, making humanoid robots more human, flying the world's fastest personal jet, and saying goodbye to one of the most average employees I have ever had. <laughs> it was good, Ooh. Melissa, better, best. Theoretical physicists at the Imperial College London have developed a new method that could allow lasers to heat certain materials to temperatures hotter than the sun's core in 20 quadrillions of a second. The new technique would be about 100 times faster than the world's most energetic laser system at the Lawrence Livermore National Lab in California. Plus, it would be incredibly useful for future fusion research. In the new study, the team looked for new ways to directly heat up ions, which are particles that make up the bulk of matter. Currently, when lasers are used to heat up most materials, the energy from the laser first heats up the electrons in the target, which then heat up the ions. However, the researchers found through supercomputer modeling that high-density materials such as plastic have special combinations of ions which accelerate at different speeds when hit by a high-intensity laser. The electrostatic shock wave directly heats the ions. The ions are squeezed together at almost 10 times the usual density of a solid material as the electrostatic shock wave passes through. The technique, if proven experimentally, could be the fastest heating rate ever demonstrated in a lab for a significant number of particles. Humanoid robots. One of the few plot points in Interstellar that didn't blow my mind. I mean, they find a way to travel through a black hole, but they can't build AI beyond hell with legs? Anyway, humanoid robots, or humanauts, like NASA's R5, will be helpful, if not necessary, to future astronauts. They could step in for humans working in risky space environments and even collaborate with humans, which is a critical piece of the Mars puzzle. They could even head out early and start setting up camp before humans arrive on the red planet. Well, to help advance humanot technology, NASA awarded prototypes to MIT and Northeastern University for advanced R&D work. The two groups were chosen from those entered in the DARPA Robotics Challenge and will receive up to $250,000 a year for two years with access to NASA's on-site and virtual technical support. The university principal investigators will serve as critical partners in NASA's upcoming Space Robotics Challenge, where the two R5 units will act as instruments. The goal is to create better software for dexterous humanauts used in space missions, giving them more autonomy. I mean, as long as it doesn't look like something built in Minecraft, I'm just not into it. I mean, although Adam Savage did say TARS was a representation of the perfect robot, but you are, you are wrong, sir, even though Got me an IQ by a lot. The Valkyrie private aircraft is officially available from Cobalt, and with the ability to travel up to 260 knots, around 300 miles per hour, it is the fastest single engine piston plane in its category. The aircraft design was inspired by classic fighter jets and features what the company claims is the largest one piece canopy in the world, offering riders a 320 degree view. The current version of the plane is the company's fifth prototype of the aircraft, which is equipped with a four wing to prevent stalling, and additional safety features include an onboard parachute. The exterior is available in a range of custom finishes, and the dashboard design even features a place for your iPad. And don't worry, the company adds that there's ample storage for your golf clubs and skis. Available for pre-order only with a $15,000 deposit, the company estimates delivery for summer 2017 with the final price tag ringing in at $6,999,000. What? $6,999,000. Do you mean $699,000? $600,999. What? And now a bit of bittersweet news is we learned this week that we're going to lose our friend and colleague, Melissa Fossbender. I mean, Hey, at least we had a little bit of fun. I mean, uh, oh yeah, you flew cars. Woohoo! Go! I had part of my arm cut off. What's. Is there something wrong? What? You tested out the most dangerous toys. Yes. Which we then just kept for the office. I mean, and uh, most importantly, 
I got to tase David. Yep, that felt good <laughs> on my side. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and now for my favorite part of the whole going away process, grab a box and we're walking you out. I've been told that I'm making a big mistake. I'm throwing my life away for nothing. I'm gonna do this just to prove it to you You're just a hoop that I'm jumping